Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Cook With Me video, but it's a special Cook With Me video. It is another video in our Taste of Home series. Let's see what we're making. So you guys know that Kim over to Girl and Her Phone and myself collect the Taste of Home annual books. We decided to start a little two-person collab series using those books. We've already done one recipe. I'll link it up here and I'll link it down there and I'll link it at the end. This is the second time we've done it and this time Kim picked the year and the category. So we are going out of the 2013 annual and the category is weeknight something. Weeknight solutions. And I am making easy chicken cordon bleu. I think Kim is making a side dish and I am making a main dish. So mesh them all together and you have dinner. So let's get started on this easy chicken cordon bleu. First, we'll go over what we need and then we'll get started. Okay, not a lot of ingredients because this is a weeknight solution. It is a simple recipe. First thing we need are four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We need four slices of Swiss cheese. We need one egg. We need some salt and pepper. We need some butter. We need four slices of cooked ham. And we also need one puff pastry sheet. Generally, I would make my own puff pastry, but in this weather, it is super duper hot here in Jersey. I am not going to fight with trying to laminate butter and having it melt all over the place. So we are going with the frozen. We only need one sheet, two sheets come in a box, and we need to thaw that out. So there is all the ingredients we need. Let's get started. Okay, friends, in my cast iron skillet here, I have one and a half tablespoons of butter. Melt it. And I am just going to add in my chicken. And I'm going to salt and pepper it. I should have done it and mm, I didn't. Um, I have three really nice pieces of chicken. And then I have some chicken pieces. So I am just going to kind of fake it with those. I just did not thaw four breasts. I only thawed three and two of them were really big. So I'm just kind of making one up. You know it's not a cooking video with me if something isn't a little screwy. So we are just going to salt and pepper the chicken. And we are going to cook this over pretty high heat, just for about one to two minutes on each side. We are not trying to cook this chicken all the way through. We are just trying to get a nice color on it. This is going to be going in the oven and that is where it will do most of the cook. So we're just gonna let this go until it has a beautiful color on it. And then we are going to get a clean plate and set it aside while we prepare our puff pastry, cheese, and ham. Okay, our chicken has some nice color on it. So I am just going to remove it to a plate lined with paper towels, just so it drains a little bit. We're gonna set that aside and we're going to start to prepare our puff pastry. I'm attempting to not shut the camera off. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, look at that. 
Guys, you know if you watch my channel, there's nothing professional about it. I know, I know, Joni. Get a real camera, get a real setup. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I like my imperfect world. <laughs> so, we've got our puff pastry sheet here, and I just have it on a cutting board. And I have a little bit of flour sprinkled on the cutting board and a little bit sprinkled on the top of the puff pastry. Now this is a nine inch square. So we need to make it a 12 inch square. So this cutting board is not gonna be big enough. We'll see what we can do. You've heard me say before, this is my mama's rolling pin. I absolutely love it, love using it. Ooh, there we go, 12 by nine. So now we're just gonna try to inch it out a little bit this way. This is very, very easy to roll. Don't be intimidated. Of course, if I would stop hitting the tripod, it would probably be better, right? You can say it, go ahead. Okay, we need to, we need to make this a little bit bigger. So I think I'm gonna take it off the cutting board, put it right on the countertop. Honestly, I don't mind cutting on my countertop. It is so old and just so beat that whatever. There we go. Set that aside. There we go. That's a little bit easier. Not a Joni cook with me if there wasn't something. But you know what I say, it is real life around here. I am not a chef. This is not a gourmet kitchen. Okay, perfect, there we go. So we have our 12 by 12 square. And what we are going to do is we are going to cut this into four six inch squares. A little bit bigger than six inches, but that's okay. Not quite even, but it's fine. So now we are going to take our chicken breast. We are going to place one on each square. Hmm, probably gonna need to trim that one a little bit. Then here's our little, <laughs> our little pieces. It's gonna be fine. This is gonna be somebody's lunch tomorrow, probably Doug's. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to top each chicken breast with ham and cheese. Now, this ham is super, super thin. So I could probably use two pieces if I wanted to, but I think I'll stick to the recipe and just go with the one. I am doubling it. This is um, the Castlewood Reserve. It's from Aldi. It's really good. It has no, it's uncured and it's got really great ingredients. So that's what we're using. And then our Swiss cheese, which is not opening. We are just gonna take one piece 
of the Swiss cheese and lay that right on top. And now we're gonna make our little bundles. First thing we need to do is we need to whisk our egg with one tablespoon of water. So let me get that ready for okay, you. I have a nine by 13 baking dish. This is just a pampered chef stone. And here's where, it, this is gonna be the trickiest part. I honestly don't know how it's gonna go. So we'll do it together. I am actually going to trim this little end off right here because it's not gonna seal well with that sticking out. Here we go. We're gonna take our egg and we're gonna brush it over the pastry edges. This is gonna act like our glue to hold it together. Now we're gonna take two ends, bring them up. I think these chicken breasts are a little big because we need to overlap it. Oh, there we go. We're okay. And then we're just gonna make it stick, press it down together This is really thawing quickly because it is hot in here. I am so glad I did not try to make this. And then we're gonna take the ends, just tuck those up. Close it all up. This was that wonky one, so that's not gonna be so pretty, but that's okay. And we're gonna take it. Oh, it's sticking so bad, it's so warm. And we're gonna lay it in our dish. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of them. I've already decided how to change this. The chicken was too warm and it's melting the puff pastry. So I think I would 100% cool the chicken down next time before I do this. And I think I would put the ham and cheese on first. And then the chicken on top, because then we could turn this over, which we still could, I guess. So none of the seams are showing. And have a prettier little bundle. Let's see, it is. There we go. There is our chicken, our quick chicken cordon blues. Gotta remember that that's the one with the three pieces in it. I'm gonna go do these last two and then we will get them in the oven.
Okay, last but not least, before they go into the oven, we're gonna just take our egg mixture and we are gonna brush it over the puff pastry. That's gonna give it that beautiful shine. I definitely see some flaws here where it's probably gonna pop through, but it's okay. As long as it tastes delicious, we can work on technique later. And I definitely think I would maybe roll it out a little bit more, make my pieces a little more even. And also let the chicken cool because it did melt the pastry a little bit. But I think we're gonna be just fine. And let me tell you, this came together so quick and easy. So quick and easy. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. We'll stick a thermometer in there and make sure that chicken is up to 165 degrees. Okay, here is our chicken cordon bleu out of the oven. I think they look fantastic and I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, here it is on the plate, our easy chicken cordon bleu. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's cut this open and see what it looks like inside. And there she is inside. You can see the ham and the cheese is all melty and the chicken is cooked perfectly. Well, as always, I come on and tell you what we think of whatever it is I made. It was delicious. Andrew already left, he loved it. Actually, him and Doug were doing rock, pa rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the leftovers in their lunch tomorrow. I lost. <laughs> lost. Um, it was really, really good. But, and there's always a but. Calorie wise, it's fine. 408 calories for that piece of chicken and I paired it with green beans, I paired it with roasted carrots. So my whole dinner was probably about 450, 460 calories, but the points are gonna kill you, my friends, and it's because of the puff pastry. Yep, the puff pastry is ridiculous. Do you even wanna know? It is 16 Weight Watcher points. Yeah. It was eight until I put the puff pastry in, but it's only 408 calories. That's the reason I now count calories. <laughs> but, um, I mean, puff pastry has a lot of butter in it. That's, what it. that's what's doing it. How to reduce the points. You can use a low fat, Swiss cheese for sure. Um, don't cook the chicken in butter. Spray a pan with Pam. That'll reduce a little bit of points, but the most of the points are coming in your puff pastry. So what you could do to combat that is you could pound out your chicken breast. Okay, pound it out nice and thin. Like, Don't even cook it. Or you could cook it, but I wouldn't even cook it. I'd pound it out nice and thin. And then I would put the cheese and the ham on top and I would roll it up like a chicken roll, secure it. I would dip it in egg and the egg and water mixture. Then I would roll it in a panko breadcrumb and I would either drizzle melted butter on the top or spray it with avocado spray or olive oil spray, whatever your spray of choice is, and bake it in the oven. You are greatly going to reduce the points. Doing it that way, you're probably looking at eight points. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the puff pastry was delicious. It was very, very good. And for me, it's easy to fit in counting the calories, counting the 408 calories. That's easy to fit in. Counting points, it's not as easy to fit in. But I did pair it with pretty much zero point sides except for um, the caprese. I had to count the mozzarella. So if you really wanted to make it that way, it is absolutely doable. You have a low point breakfast, you have a low point lunch, 
you serve low point sides and you can have it. That is the beauty of so many different plants. There's always a way to fit things in. And this way of fitting it in was serving, you know, keeping it low during the day and then serving low point sides. So there it is. That is our Taste of Home annual collab series. <laughs> we still call it a million different things. So make sure you go over and check out Kim's video. Hers is linked down below in the description box, as well as our first video we did. And go check them out. Go give Kim some subscription love if you're not already subscribed. Can't believe you wouldn't be subscribed to her. She is wonderful. She is inspirational and she just never quits. So anyway, my friends, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you all in my next video.